One of the last principles of uh, vibration control what we have discussed in our theory class is related to the transformation of mechanical energy into electrical energy and in that process controlling the vibration of a system. Now here we are in the laboratory today where we have one such system which is known as an energy harvesting system. This is actually a midday energy harvesting product. If we look at it closely, that we have a beam here and the beam is having a, an energy harvesting uh, strip in it. And what we are doing is that we are exciting the beam which is in a cantilever mode with the help of a shaker and the beam can be excited with the help of the shaker at various modes. So this shaker excitation can be actually controlled from this function generator and then through a power amplifier this comes here in the LEDs shaker so that I can excite this system at various frequency range and the output of this midday is taken to this oscilloscope where we can see what is the peak to peak voltage that we are generating from the vibration. So to begin with what we are going to show here is a 15 hertz base excitation that is taking place in this cantilever beam and this midday piezoelectric energy harvester is able to generate a peak to peak voltage of about 5.8 to 6 volt. So this kind of an electrical current uh, signal it is able to generate from the vibration. Now if we uh, double let us say the frequency from 15 hertz to 30 hertz, uh, so we will double it up and we will see the effect of it now. We now have a 30 hertz excitation signal and we have not changed any other parameters but just with this doubling of the frequency what you can see here that the peak to peak voltage is getting changed here to 38.4 volt. So we have increased the peak to peak voltage from 6 volts to 6 times more than 6 times in 38.4 volt just by doubling the frequency which means also that the higher the frequency the more will be the mechanical energy and we will be able to convert more of this mechanical energy to electrical energy. So depending on the ambient source of excitation we will be thus able to extract the energy from the ambience and we will be able to convert it into electrical energy. Subsequently, this electrical energy can be stored in the form of a battery and uh, for example, we have developed uh, various types of uh, piezoelectric energy harvesters, uh, some of the things which can be actually used for charging uh, low power electronic devices. So this is one setup through which we can see that how this energy harvesting system can be developed and can be uh, utilized in a very useful manner for both the purposes for controlling the vibration of a system as well as for ge generating electrical output which can be used for useful purposes. is a system, a practical system where we can demonstrate you how a PID controller can be designed. Now in this system as you can see that if it is an open loop system then you have a reference signal then a pre-calibration control unit and it goes to a power source then from power source you go to magnetic levitation and then there is a sensor which senses it. But that is as far as the open loop system concerned. However, an open loop system 
cannot actually control this UT and hence if the levitation is not achieved, there is no way to rectify ourselves. Whereas if you look at the cement system, here you have a reference position and then there is an error and then there is a controller here like a PID controller, then the power source and the magnetic levitation, that's the plant and then there is a sensor which is sensing the location and it is getting a feedback through a PID controller and this whole system can actually rectify itself. So, what is the advantage that in this case, for example, if I give an open loop system, I may have an output YT which may or may not form the signal. It may follow, it may not follow. Whereas, in this case, if I give an open loop signal, then we will see that after a certain point of time, this system is going to follow that reference signal. That means it can rectify itself and the PID controller takes care of this rectification in a loop and the whole thing happens in a very, very small time. We can actually now demonstrate it to you through a magnetic levitation system which can be controlled with the help of a PID controller. What we have here is a magnetic levitation system and here in this system this one is an electromagnet whose power can be controlled and there is a sensor here. The sensing system is such that there is a light which is coming from this point and the shadow of this light is getting generated here and depending on the shadow the electrical signal is generated and that actually controls the magnetic field. So that's the whole closed loop control system. Now let's say if I take this small planet and try to actually levitate it in our artificial you know field or artificial universe inside the lab we can see that as we take it here the light is actually going to get shined and then there is a shadow here and according the current is controlled very quickly by the PID controller and as a result we can see that the magnetic force almost it happens instantly but it is actually through this closed loop control system that this actually happens within a microsecond that the magnetic force is quickly calibrated and the whole thing starts to float. At this system, we can also show that the beauty of this system is that this is fairly robust. If this, let's say the mass of the planet suddenly changes, suppose the planet starts to have one satellite, yet this system will actually adjust itself. So we can add a satellite here. Yet the system is able to quickly adjust again and the whole thing is still working beautifully. If the satellite is going to have another satellite of it, it may still work. We can try that. And in uh, robustness, of course, a little bit sacrificed, but you see that it is even working in this system. So essentially, what is happening is that this planet of us, the light is getting you know, reflected back, the shadow is generating a current which is controlling the magnetic field and as a result the entire thing is levitating. And then in all these things, uh, the, by, uh, as I am changing the mass, the, you know, the gravitational force changes but the gain here, the magnetic gain corresponding to the magnetic field is automatically getting adjusted so that it can accommodate up to a certain extent larger mass of the system or so to say a change in the original mass of the system. So this is a beautiful demonstration of a closed loop PID control. Thank you.